know, back to this idea of when, when the race doesn't go the way that you want it. And let, let's set aside for a minute whether it's extreme weather or something like that that's clearly out of your control. Um, but I'm talking today where, for whatever reason, your body just wasn't where you um, expected it to be um, and wanted it to be. Um, and, you know, uh, and, and just being willing to go back and to look at all those little steps, those little actions that might actually have contributed, whether you realize it at the time or not, to the day that you didn't have. And I really do think that, again, here's an old school marathon thing, that one of the ones that gets people is don't do anything different right before your race. Like how many times did, you know, that, that race gone awry trace to, you know, the thing you bought at the expo or the thing you saw somebody else doing who looked really good and fast, you know, in the week before the race. And so you didn't worry even honest with yourself about it, but it influenced you a little bit, you know, like you, you just think all these different ways in which sometimes like you prepared in a very particular way. And then that last week or two, you, you know, whether you know, there's so many, you're asking for advice from people you don't normally talk to, or you're trying different things, or you're in a panic looking for the perfect pair of socks or whatever. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think for me, one of the best things that I ever did was, was after a few of these race gone awry situations was to say, when I'm going into a big race, I want to have everything dressed for, you know, dress rehearsal for everything. The, the, you know, the, the, the pacing, the fuel, the, the, the clothing, like it all needs to be locked in well before the race. And then in those last few weeks beforehand, nothing changes um, and, and really stay true to that, except in extreme situations like you described in your race, you probably had a fueling strategy all scheduled out. Your body was telling you like, no, I got to abort here in the middle of the race. I mean, so, so, you know, sometimes you actually need to be adaptive, but in general, for me, the very best races are come when I, like, I have just gotten the dress rehearsal from months out and it all, it, I, I stay to it even right down to those last moments where for some reason it becomes easiest to suddenly start grasping for something new at the last second. And uh, so that would be just, I think, one other, <laughs> one other kind of thing for people to think about. And especially if they're decoding, like, hey, why did that one go wrong? It was, was there some element of that in there um, that, that they, you know, need to know next time I go to the, you know, to the expo, I got the blinders on, you know, like I'm in, I get my number, I'm in, I'm out, I'm doing a couple of things, I'm meeting some people, but I'm not, that's not the moment where I'm suddenly going to start, you know, like try a new, try a new fuel or, uh, or something like that. 